Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, before school started, I was a part of this program called Jumpstart, which essentially lets you move in a week early, and they have little courses for kids to prepare them for university life and how it's different from high school. And they would always ask us what questions we had. And one of the biggest questions that people had was how do you manage your time in university compared to high school? So today I'm gonna talk about some of the things that worked for me. Um, obviously everyone's a different person. They have different ways of how their brain works and what's best for them. But I'm gonna give a bunch of different options. Try out whatever you think works for you and maybe it'll stick, maybe it'll be really helpful for you. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is just how to plan in general. So in high school, I used something like this um it's like a a weekly weekly spread but when i moved into university uh it just didn't really work as well for me mostly because um courses and schedules are very different than they were in high school in high school you have your courses from 8 30 to 2 50 and then you're done for the day and then you can go and get started on all your things but in university Maybe on one day you'll have three courses and then another day you'll only have like two and there's big breaks in between. Maybe you'll have a four hour break in between one course and then other courses are back to back. So it's kind of hard. You can't really plan every single day the same way. So something that I've started using is Google Calendar. That way I can put in all of my courses as a base and I have them in for every single week and then I find gaps in between, I put in whatever appointments I have, whatever meetings I have, and then all the empty spaces I fill with whatever I need to fill it with. If I need to work on a certain project, if I have like laundry to do, if I need to clean my room, just anything that I need to get done, I'll put in there. Something that's also helpful for me is just trying to keep things consistent in my life. So I know that I have my uh, design team every Saturday and I know that I have my work meetings every Monday and I know that Thursday is always cleaning day for me and I know that my physics homework is due every Friday so I like keep all of this in mind and then that way I know to schedule around certain times that I'm gonna be busy so luckily with university um, a lot of your homework is due at the same day every week and so I find that really helpful um, just to keep that in mind, put it in your calendar that every Friday you're going to be doing this because you have an assignment due a couple days later. So that's something that's really helpful is to stick to a routine and not just do things as they come up. Something else that I found quite different about university when I first started, the seven or eight hours of sleep that I used to be getting in high school just was not cutting it anymore. All of my friends and I were having naps every day like we were in preschool because we were so tired on our usual amounts of sleep, which seemed odd to us. But it's because your brain is working so much harder, you're not taking as many breaks um, as you used to be, and the material you're learning is harder, it's packed into a shorter amount of time that you have to learn, you're just going to be more tired, your brain is working hard. So something that's really important is getting enough sleep because otherwise you're going to be burnt out by the second week of being here. I try and get 10 hours of sleep on a good day is like what I aim for. Often I get 8, 8 to 9, but something that I find that helps when I need sleep and to get me sleep and just to be productive in general is if I'm not being productive or I'm just so tired and I just want to go to bed, maybe it's like early in the night, maybe it's only 8 o'clock. And I'm just like exhausted. I'm like, okay, I'm not doing any more work. I'm going to leave this for tomorrow. I say, I want the day to end. I'm going to end the day here. And then I go to bed super early, but then I wake up after 10 hours of sleep very early, very refreshed because I've just gotten a lot of sleep. And now I have time before my classes to continue working on whatever homework that it is that I need to do. So that is something that I like to do. If I want the day to be over, I just end the day. Who cares if I'm going to bed? at six-year-old hours. If it works, it works. So those are all my study tips. They may not work for everyone. Like I said, I use um, most of these at the same time as each other. I don't just choose one thing and stick to it. If I'm gonna schedule, I'll have like multiple schedules going. And I find that this is just really helpful for me personally. Find what works for you and do well in school. 
and have a great time now that you know how to manage your time properly. Bye!